This short tutorial will show you the most basic setup for wireless flash control with the Alpha 7 series. In our example, we are using the HVLF20M as a control flash and the HVLF60M as a remote flash. First, mount the control flash firmly on the multi-interface shoe and tighten the lock ring. Make sure the unit is mounted completely. A little symbol will show up, indicating that the camera has recognized the flash. There are two ways to set the flashes into wireless mode. You can switch it on directly on the flash itself, provided that the flash has operating buttons of its own. Your remote flash display must read Remote and not Control. Alternatively, the mode can be set in the camera's menu, which works with all the flashes. When using the HVLF20M, make sure your remote flash is set to channel 1, because the HVLF20M only uses this particular channel. Once the remote flash is set to wireless mode, a red light is flashing to indicate the wireless mode. Press the AEL button to check if both flash units are actually communicating between each other. If so, the flashes will fire consecutively and the HVLF60M will make a beeping sound in addition. The mini stand that comes along with the flash features a tripod thread, so you can use it with the rest of your professional studio equipment. Now we're going to show you some short and simple examples in which you can get an idea of how different flash positions affect the resulting image. First, full frontal flash creating harsh shadows and flat illumination. With a flash coming from an above angle, the puppet appears much more three-dimensional. Lighting it from the back, the puppet appears in an almost dramatic fashion. You can see, even with this most basic and mobile setup, you can already achieve some elaborate and creative lighting. Flash ratio is the more advanced version of the wireless flash usage and gives you more options with creative lighting. In the flash ratio setup, the control flash not only triggers the remote flashes, but also can illuminate the subject at a given ratio. On top of that, you can set the flash ratio of the remote flashes using the control flash menu. For the most basic wireless usage, where the control flash only triggers the remote flashes, you can use a variety of available flashes as controller, including built-in flashes of A-mount cameras. For the wireless flash ratio control, you will need external flashes, for example the HVLF60M, F43M and AM. We will use the F60M as control flash with a camera from the Alpha 7 series, the F43M and another F60M as remote flashes. When mounting the flash, insert it all the way into the multi-interface shoe and make sure to lock the flash on the camera with a lever. After the camera recognizes the switched on flash, a small icon appears on the camera's LCD. Although the camera is already set into wireless mode, you need to put the flash into wireless control plus mode. Via the FN button, you can choose between TTL ratio, which enables lighting ratio control wireless flash photography, and manual ratio, at which firing of the controller can be set manually. The next step is to put our two remote flashes into the remote setting. To do so, press the mode button and select wireless remote. Alternatively, you can press the FN button to access the quick navi screen and use the control wheel to select the wireless remote setting indicator. Make sure that all flashes are using the same channel. One flash is set to remote 1 and the other is set to remote 2. You can even allocate multiple flashes in one group. Up to three groups are supported. Place the camera and flash units within the 1 to 5 meter radius of the subject and don't place a flash directly behind the subject. You can test the communication between the units by pressing the camera's AEL button. If the connection is established, the control flash will emanate a small test flash, which is answered by the remote flashes. This comes in handy, especially when trying out the limits of a setup, because often communication will work even when there is no line of sight, but when the signals can bounce off walls. By pressing the FN button on the control flash, you can access the control display, where you can set the ratio. Use the up and down arrows to adjust each ratio numbers, from dash, no light, to 16. 
Here are some examples of how different flash ratios affect the look of the picture taken. The left number indicates the relative output from the controlled flash. The center and the right number from the remote flash.